I can make a report for you. You chose not to. He kept arguing, trying to say you want a report. But I advised you. Did you want one? You I said don't no. recall that. But um... And he even spoke to my sergeant, mm -hmm. who's also here, and I mm -hmm. could also get on scene if you really need. But I've spoke. But I told you that on scene. Well, I said I if you choose to have, if you choose to have that handled, that's on you guys. I have known people that have gotten fresh reports after the fact, so I don't not know. Not after so. they spoke to, not after an officer came on scene. Yes, well, for policy, that's not supposed to happen. So you're telling me you're not going to do anything? I can get a sergeant over here to speak to you, if you would prefer that, but that that's how the policy works. Well. I, I can get him over here. How about a lieutenant? Hmm? How about a lieutenant? at the desk. The lieutenant won't be on the road. Well. One on three. Two ten available. Because the young man was driving, was drunk. Doc, can he fly this way when he gets a chance? So in other words, you're going to let a drunk driver go. He was not on scene. He, he, no, because they, he, his he, sister wait, told wait, him wait. to leave he just, because he was He just was drunk. just going to say he was not on scene, right? No, he wasn't down there because his sister sent him away because he was drunk. Yeah, he, he this officer explained all that. I, I heard it. I spoke to both of you guys. Both of you guys were under in understanding that you guys did not order report. Both of you guys were under in that understanding. Because you made it sound that we would be in some terrible trouble because neither one of us had insurance. Neither one of you have insurance. But so, my car wasn't going anywhere. So a report's not, the only thing a report's going to do is be in the air. It's not going to do anything for you. You don't have insurance. I can still request a report. Whether I use it or don't use once it is not a, relevant. I, yeah, you can. When I was first on scene, and I asked you for it. Uh, you know, I never you. refused. I refused him because he was not the owner. I asked you, and you said you did not want one. Well, at that time, I was mistaken. Okay, but uh, even on recording, you even just submitted you refused. I mean, you did not. Re you never refused. You said you did not want one. Because because you counseled her not to. Yeah. No, I said I had no problem taking one for her, not. You, you're not the only. But you, I sat here and listened to you counsel her not to because you said something about insurance. It's not going to do anything because it's, it's no. Not. Insurance it's, will not. If you it's don't a no-fault state. Going, yeah, Can it, I finish? Which is all the truth. Can I finish? Yeah, I'm not going to sit here and be interrupted like I did, was the other night. I sat here and listened to you counsel her not to on some bullcrap insurance claim. That's not what it's about. The kid was driving somebody else's car, which the person who reported it told you that. He left the scene, she told you that, and he hit this car and pushed it 30 feet. You saw that. So you have a driver. Well, it was all the way over there, and that's well over 30 feet. You're going to deny that? Because that's, it hasn't moved from that spot since we, we, we moved it backwards. You counseled her not to over an insurance claim. I said, that's why I said would not benefit her. Is For insurance. insurance. We're not talking about insurance. We're talking about the crime that was committed. He hit the car, he fled the scene. You know that as a fact because that's what you told us from the information you got from the girl who owns the car. And you guys knowing that chose not to make a report that night. Because you counseled her not to. See, I'm her power of attorney. And when she gets into a bind like this, then I have to take over. Okay? A crime was committed. We need a report filed for that crime. This has got nothing to do with insurance or, or replacing the vehicle or any of those civil matters that you didn't have any really right to counsel her on. This is about a crime that was committed. That's it. He committed a crime. You know it. You were told it by the car owner, and you let it slide. So what she needs is a crash report. I can't be made right now. And you can pick my side once he gets here. <clears throat> what, Hoydick? Hoydick, no. Hoydick is a day shift officer. Because I got, I got a litany of texts from this kid admitting that he hit the car and ran off. Okay. So, so there's proof knew, of a crime. Guys, and you guys knew that on scene. You guys knew that on scene. And you tried to bully me by trying to counsel my mother into counseling her into doing a report. 
And then your partner try, walked me around the corner to try to keep me out of the situation. When the fact of the matter was, I was correct that night, and you still forcefully bullied my mom into not doing a crash report over some bull crap about insurance. I, I asked her. I asked her. Really, because your demeanor is very different now that you're on film. Very different. Well, yeah, I was on film that day, too. Yeah, and I got it. And you were cocky, and you were cutting me off, and you weren't letting me speak. Yeah, when my when my sergeant gets here, it's all right. I'm gonna make sure this is published. And we're gonna pursue it higher than this.